if you want to stun everyone this Christmas, you need to make this delicious recipe. We are using some puff pastry shells, okay? And we have two of those, okay? Just crack them open just like that, okay? Because they come united for some reason. And this is really gonna stun everyone and it's gonna be so good. As soon as you see the finished dessert, look at this. Now, just put a little bit of powdered sugar on top of these cuties, okay? Just like that. If you want, you can use Edwards to make them nice and shiny, but uh, for this recipe, I prefer the sugar method, just some powdered sugar, just like that. Voila! And now, simply bake those at 400 for just about 15 minutes, all right? See you in a minute. Wow, look at these cuties! There you go, just nice and golden brown. Now, we're gonna take a spoon here, and we're gonna start, you know, if you need it, just, you know, just take this out of the way, the center, it will come right off. If it doesn't, you see, you just take the spoon here and you scoot it off, just like so. And it's, you, if you can see, they make it in a way that they leave this beautiful cavity right here. And we're gonna fill it with something delicious, just like that. Now, of course, you wanna save those, right? You really don't wanna throw them away because these are good, you know? You just dip it in some whipped cream or something. Perfect, just like that. Make sure they're all nice for my OCD. And now we're gonna come with some delicious no-bake Philadelphia filling. Now, of course, you can make your own cheesecake filling, whatever you prefer. And to make this super easy, I have a kind of a cookie scooper here, and we're gonna take this and scoop a nice amount right in there, in the center, just like that. And this is gonna be our filling. But remember, we're not done, but this is gonna be so good. Perfect. I uh, feel like the quantity that's coming out from the cookie cutter is perfect for this. Now, if you're a cream lover, you can just use an ice cream scooper, so more will come out. But I feel like, you know, this is plenty of cream for those, for those, cause they look big, but they're just like, just puffed up, right? So we, we wanna, we don't want them to be too much cream, right? It's gonna be overwhelming. These are so nice, delicate, and delicious. Just like that. Here we are, He's, this is our last one. Wow. Now, what do you think is missing for make this fantastic? I know what's missing. Of course, a little bit of fruit and color. I have some strawberries washed, of course, and now, See, I just cut them in half, just like that. And we're gonna put those, you can put it however you like. I'm gonna put those just like that. So they kind of make like a little flower kind of thing. And you know, you can see the outside of strawberries that looks beautiful, just like that. Put it there. So you're also gonna smoosh all the cream in place. See, boom. Just put the strawberries there and boom, see? Very, very easy, effortlessly, and look at this result. It's already looking awesome, just like that. Oh my goodness. And that sugar we put on the crust has now caramelized, you know, and it's super good, and it goes perfectly, just like that. Look at it, oh my goodness. They look good, guys. And so far we just used three ingredients. Can you believe that? If you can make a hundred of these for your party in Christmas, oh my goodness. Just put a little bit more of the powdered sugar, just a little bit more to make it, of course, nice and festive, okay? Do not exaggerate, but just give it a pop of color. And we can now put them on our serving tray and try those. Yes. There we go. Look at that. We just put them on a beautiful cutting board. Nice presentation. And look at these guys. We are now gonna try it. I'm here with Grandma Lois and Look at this. Oh my goodness, let's try one. Prova, no, no, prova nenhuno. Quello che ti piace. Un mosquino. Wow, guys, three ingredients. Can you even believe that? So good. Mm. Unbeatable, guys. Mm. Simplicity is the answer. Mm. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Mmm. So good.